What's up Peak Timers, today we're opening up the latest Hot Wheels Elite 64 as well as taking a look back at the previous releases of every Hot Wheels Elite 64 so far. Audi RS7 Sportback is our newest Hot Wheels Elite 64. It's in a really cool looking grayish color right here. We'll look on the back of the card right here and this one says Audi RS7 Sportback shows some of the information. It was produced originally from 2019 to present. It's got a V8 engine. It's got an automatic eight-speed transmission if you really care about that But you can see in the back it is displayed right through the back right there Then it's got a nice display on the front as well And it does come with the Hot Wheels official protectors Which I am not a fan of because they come apart very easily So get yourself better quality protectors for your cars Unless you want them to fall out and potentially break But anyways, this is the new Audi. Let's go ahead and open it up and get a close up look at it, all the details on it. And then we'll take a look back at all of our previous releases of the Hot Wheels Elite 64s. Let's open it. And here is our Audi Sportback right here. Very, very clean looking. Love the gloss paint on this car. This color is just becoming such a good trending color. It's a very popular new color. And we have so much good detail on the front end of this. And we have metal base, metal top all around. We do have some really nice treaded wheel tire combination on here. The tires are just so much detail on them. And if we look at the base of this car, you can see that it does have a exhaust, the chrome exhaust that goes right from kind of the center all the way to the back. So that's a great touch of detail as well on this. And then we look at the back end, we can see the nice touch of the exhaust, great detail with the lights all around. Just the side profile of this looks so good. The mirrors nicely painted and kind of a nice gloss black. Just overall a great, great looking car. Now, some of the downfalls of this car, there is no opening parts or pieces or anything like that as we have seen in the past on other Hot Wheels Elite 64. So love it or hate it on that sense, it's not so good, but this is essentially one step above the Hot Wheels regular color culture premiums and boulevards. I would say it's just a, a little bit more detailed, a little bit better quality than those cars. So is it really worth the price when they come out? They're $20 and then some of them they go up in price just because of the rarity of them. But what do you guys think of this new Audi RS7 Sportback from Hot Wheels Elite 64. Now looking back at our previous releases, you can see all of them here behind me and they are in numbered order right now. One, two, three, four, five, and then obviously our Audi right here, which is the sixth one, but they were not released in number order. The Toyota Chaser was actually the first one released. The second one was the Mercedes 300 SL. Then we had the Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk Edition, then the Mustang, and then we had the Land Rover, and obviously the last one, our newest one is the Audi. But we're gonna look at them in the actual official number order, we'll look at our Mercedes first up right here. There is our Mercedes. You can see the number on the card right there for that. And this one was really cool because it did have the opening doors on it. We'll look at that in a second. There's the back of the card for it. So you can see some of the details included on there. But let's go ahead and pick up our Mercedes right here and have a look at this one. So this one, very similar to our Hot Wheels RLC release because of the opening doors. If I can somehow get them open, they're sometimes a little bit stuck because I haven't opened them for a while. There we go. So you can see the nice big gull wing doors that open up. Plus this one does have the roll cage on the inside, which is super, super cool. Nicely numbered on there, but check it out just on our rotating display. Does that not look so good? So detailed, very, very nice. It's an interesting color. It's definitely like a kind of a darker green color, I would say on this one. The wheels are paired correct. We got the nice side exhaust on it. The numbers on there look kind of retro. I mean, obviously it's an older retro car anyways, but nonetheless, this is a fantastic looking Hot Wheels Elite 64 model and I'm super happy with it. We'll put that one down now. Car number two is the 1996 Toyota Chaser JZX100. You can see it's car number two right there. There's the nice detailed package on it. We'll look at the back of it. You can see some of the information. Obviously this is a Japan release only car. We never got the Toyota Chaser here in North America, but a really cool looking car. Nice display right through there on the back end of it. We'll put the card right back right here and then we'll pick up our car itself. And there it is. And check this one out. 
in this really, really cool metallic pearl white color. It looks fantastic. The colored wheels on here look so, so good as well. It's got a nice big lip spoiler. It's got a roll cage on the inside of it. Some sponsorships on the side near the bottom, Hot Wheels on the back right there. And then on the front end, it kind of looks almost like a Nissan GTR, like a Skyline GTR from the front end. It's got a nice wide body kit on there. It's an all around, it's a cool looking car. I honestly did not know what this was until it was released from Hot Wheels, but I think it's a pretty cool looking car. The only disappointment on this one is there is no opening or moving parts on it, unfortunately. But I mean, half of the Hot Wheels looks Elite 64s don't have any moving parts, but this one still looks really, really good. We'll go ahead and throw that one back there. And then we'll pick up car number three. Car number three is our modified 69 Mustang right there. Car number three, you can see, and you can see this one looks really, really hardcore, really cool. We'll look on the back right there. It's got some information on it right there. Six speed semi-automatic, thousand horsepower twin turbo. And we'll be able to see that engine in a second. You can see how it's displayed nicely right there on the back end. We'll go ahead and put this card right back and then we'll pick up the car itself. And there we have it. Check out the wide body kit on this one. Crazy, we've never seen anything like this from Hot Wheels before, this wide body kit. Got that big spoiler on there. Check out the diffuser on the back of it. Absolutely crazy. The wheel tire combination I think suits it perfectly. The way they have that front lip just hooked in is super, super cool. And then having a look at the car itself, you can see the front engine this just opens and displays that thousand horsepower engine in there. Is that not really, really cool that they have that so that it opens up and just check it out. You can see your twin turbos right there. Just really, really cool detailed look for this one with that opening part for that front engine. So, I mean, you could display it just like that with that engine open. I mean, there's your hood itself and we can put that hood right back on, just snaps right into place. But very, very cool that that opens up when we can see that 1000 horsepower engine and all of its detailed. We'll go ahead and put that one back and then we'll pick up my favorite of the Hot Wheels Elite 64s, the LBWK Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. One of the coolest looking colors for all of our Elite 64s and then the wide body Aventador. On the back, you can see all the different types of details. Interesting for this one, length, width, height, weight, all NA. I feel like they could have just got rid of that. I don't know why they even kept it in there, but hey, it's there if you need to know that they don't know that. <laughs> but there we go, we have it displayed nicely on the back and we'll look at it from the front again. Just a great looking card on there. We'll put it back right now and then we'll pick up the car itself and there's so many cool things that this one can do. We'll have a look in a second right here. But check out the color of this one rotating on our display. Just super, super nice detail in there. I love the wide body kit, the color on this one. Just so, so fantastic. The wheels on this one look kind of like the Aventador SV wheels on here. That big, massive spoiler on there, which we'll see in a second what this does. But like, look at this. Just so, so good uh, looking of a Hot Wheels Elite 64. I love this car. And then now, let's see what it does right here. We have this back spoiler which will come off so you can remove that then we have that rear diffuser bumper which will pop off as well and that will expose our nice exhaust system on the back and then if you want to see the engine the top piece here we'll bang it so it comes off there we go so you can see that top piece comes off right there as well so you can see that full v12 displayed in there so i mean just look at that you can have your car displayed like that and there's all your body parts and pieces. And we'll go ahead and we'll put them back on so you can see how it fits back on there nicely. This will align just right like that. And then our bumper, you can have you can display it like that if you want to with that rear cover on, and then your bumper off, or you can throw your bumper back on. Let's see if I can get it in properly here. There we go, so our bumper's back on, so you can display it like that too without the big wing on there. If you don't like that big wing, or if you do like the big wing, you like it all together, then you can just throw that wing right back on just like that and have it look really, really cool. I just love this car. I cannot talk about it enough. It's just such an amazing looking Hot Wheels Elite 64. So if you're gonna get one of them, I mean, come on, you gotta get the Lamborghini Aventador Liberty Walk. Such a cool looking one. We'll put that one back right there and then we'll grab number five right here, which is our Land Rover Defender 90 pickup right here. And that one, you can see it's number five. We'll look at the back right here. 
There's all that information if you care to know. It was produced originally from 2007, 2012 in the UK, four speed manual transmission, inline four only on this one. There it is on that back display. And there it is on the front, nice looking artwork on there, of course. And let's go ahead and have a look at it itself right here. And there it is. And this one, I love the detail of this one. It does not have any opening parts or anything like that, but I think they've done a great job at all of the parts that they've attached onto. It's got kind of the most detail. That rear rack right there, it's got the spare tire, even the spare tire itself is a full real rider on there. It's not just some plastic one that they slapped on. So it's really, really cool. The top bars, how they have it wrap around, the, the front lights, the floodlights, the winch on the front end, just so much detail on this one. I love these raised big fat tires on here as well. It's got like the race suspension on it. It's just such a cool looking Land Rover Defender 90 pickup. So we'll go ahead and throw that one back and we'll have one last look at our Audi Sportback. That is your last one, car number six. Just a nice looking one. No moving parts or anything, but great detail on it. You guys comment down below which one of these ones are your favorite? Which is your favorite of the six that have been released so far? You guys already know, mine is still that Lamborghini Aventador. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.